Well, hey there, buckaroos. Are you looking for the rootness, tootness, neck and cleft protector around? Well, saddle up and let me tell you about Roughneck. Anyway, so uh, I'm just going to do a quick video about my new permanent, and by permanent I mean like what I'm using normally, regularly, neck and cleft protector by Roughneck. Um, it's not a whole lot to say about it. It's my neck and cleft protector of choice after trying several. Uh, I'm coming from Maltese and this is very similar to that. So if you're coming from a Maltese, it's gonna be a seamless transition for you. Uh, you may have seen that I've done another review about the Kova one, which I was very impressed with. Just uh, the only reason why I didn't end up going with that is because it's a stiffer neck protection and there was an issue with it kind of interfering with this bone I have in my clave area that kind of sticks out. But um, other than that, I really like the Kova as well, and I could have just as easily used that if it wasn't for that one issue. Uh, the main difference is just going to be this is an all, you know, soft padding where it's flexible, whatever. Uh, and the Kova uses harder, harder uh, protection. So this is going to be a little more comfortable than that style. So it's just depending on what you want. If most people, I would say from what I see tend to lean more towards they just want comfort because they say oh I don't like the feeling of something around my neck so I feel like more people do lean towards this kind of neck protector but that being said don't sleep on the Kova if you're just looking for like top level protection but this is still going to give you very good protection too and um so like the two main ones that are this style are it's this rough neck and then eco eco foam uh has one and it's almost the same thing the foam is very similar, the shape of it's pretty similar. Uh, I didn't actually use the Eco one myself, but a friend of mine had one and I he let me uh, like kind of look at it, whatever. And you know, the only reason why I ended up going with Roughneck instead of Eco is, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this through the, you can kind of see the padding is like these little squares and it's articulated. So that helps it be a little more bendy and a little more form-fitting, whereas the Eco Foam one is just a solid piece of this foam, which is still a flexible foam, but because it's not, it doesn't have that articulation in it, it's just the one solid piece, it's a little stiffer. Um, so it's not, a, it's not a huge deal. And I would say like, if you come across a really good deal on Eco Foam and you're like kind of trying to decide between these two, you can just, if you're gonna save a good chunk of change, just go with the Eco Foam then. It's like I said, they're, they're very similar and you really can't go wrong either way if this is the style of neck protector you're looking for. Like I said, I just went with rough neck just because you know something had to give between the two and I just like how this is more like my Maltese because of this articulation in the padding. So, and like I said before, it's if you're coming from like a Maltese one, it's seamless transition. I put this on right away, it was completely comfortable, had no problems, been using it ever since. Um, and they do, as you can see, this is a custom one because I use the uh, older Panther colors and my gear. So I got a, a custom one like this with the little like sock sort of stripe graphic, you want to call it. Uh, you can do different stuff custom wise with it. So, I mean, they're all good with that. They're easy to deal with. Um, yeah. So, I mean, that's pretty basically it. Like I said, um, this is the, the one I'm going to be using going forward. You know, if I have to recommend one over anything else, it's this one, but you can also go with Eco, and that's really good. Kova is very good too. It's just, you know, it's a different type of neck and clap protection because of the style of it. Uh, but there's just, there's a, there's a lot of good options out there for uh, neck and clap protection. This is just the one I use and I really like it. And I think it uh, does a good job. So, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said, it's just, just gonna be a short one, but uh, the Roughneck gets my seal of approval.